Why do some homes sell quickly while others just sit on the market waiting for an offer? For the last several years, we've been in a seller's market here in Maryland. It's common knowledge that there's a shortage of homes for sale and demand currently exceeds supply. So if your home has been on the market without receiving an offer, or if you're thinking of selling your home this year, you'll want to stay tuned because I'm going to explain the most common reasons why homes don't sell, and more importantly, what you need to do to get your home sold before the competition. I'm realtor Rebecca Cole with Berkshire Hathaway Home Sale Realty, and I help people just like you buy and sell real estate in Maryland. Last weekend, I was showing homes to a buyer client who's looking to purchase a home in either Baltimore County or Harford County. Each of the houses we looked at, with the exception of an outdated estate sale, had just been listed on the market. Of the five homes we toured, two received multiple offers and had offered deadlines before the end of the day. One of them was located in Perry Hall and the other was located in Abingdon. Another property located in Bel Air also went under contract just a couple of days later. The remaining two properties are still listed for sale on the market two weeks later. So why did the first three houses sell immediately while the other two are still sitting waiting for offers? Pricing, presentation, and marketing. The first two properties were appropriately priced based on recent sales in the immediate area and houses that sold within the last few months. They were free of clutter, they had been beautifully staged, and they appeared to have been professionally cleaned and well-maintained according to the listing data. As soon as I walked into them, I knew immediately that they would probably receive multiple offers. Many buyers are looking for homes that are move-in ready, turnkey, priced appropriately, and are located in a desirable location. Properties that check all three of these boxes are most likely to receive multiple offers. The third property did not show as well as the first two. It had a strong animal odor and the counters and living spaces were very cluttered. Overall, the home did not feel clean. So why did that house go under contract so quickly? It was priced slightly below market value based on recent sales and it was located in an extremely desirable neighborhood in Bel Air. At the end of the day, three things sell a home, price, location, and condition. This third home had the location and the price was based on the current condition. It may not have received multiple offers like the first two homes that checked all three boxes, but house number three compensated for its condition with a lower price and by its location. The next house we looked at was also located in Bel Air. It showed well in terms of being clean and it was organized, but it had some very taste specific DIY projects going on. So even though it's located in a highly desirable area, it's listed at the very top of the price point for the neighborhood. And it's going to take longer to find a buyer who's willing to pay top dollar for a home with all those DIY projects going on. Or maybe we'll see a price reduction in the coming weeks. The last house we saw showed up as a new listing, but when I looked at the property history, it turns out it had previously been on the market with several price reductions, and now it's suffering from what's considered to be a stale listing. Once a house has been on the market longer than all the others in the price range, buyers start to wonder what's wrong with the house. A stale listing can be a good opportunity for a buyer who wants to negotiate price and get a good deal, but if you're the seller in the market, you do not want your house to be a stale listing. Also, the heat had been turned so low that it was uncomfortable in the house. My client said it didn't feel like a home and she couldn't wait to get out of there. It may seem like a minor detail, but things like having the thermostat set at an uncomfortable temperature can be a huge turnoff to buyers, and some may even think it's a sign of neglected maintenance. If you would like more information on preparing your home for sale, buying, selling, or investing in real estate, or even living in Maryland, reach out to us. My contact information is below. And if you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up and like or subscribe so you don't miss any of our content.